Okay, to get our uh, print head to the position to work on, there's two ways you can do this. Um, when your printer is fired up, you can go to clean around head. It will park this in the center. Um, then just go ahead and unplug it. I don't like to do that. What I like to do is uh, unplug the power to the printer first and foremost. Um, second, when your print head is parked over your maintenance pump, um, you come over here to this little dial and you twist this and you'll see your caps come down. Once you look kind of in between your print head and your caps, uh, you'll see, obviously you'll see air between them, see light in between your print head and your caps. Just manually push your print head gently over to the center or you can work on it. Figured I would uh, document this um, for anybody who's needing to replace print head um, on an Epson F2100. And if you're on an F2000, you'll have to do a different program to um, do your inputs on your print head um, to program it. But uh, here's how you remove it. You're going to have three screws. I already removed mine. One, two, and one back over here. Maybe three. You can see it. Need a long, long screwdriver. All you do is just pop this out, get your dampers, and uh, set them off to the side. Now you have access to your printhead, and we will remove the screws on this, and then we will pull that next. Okay, you'll have the three screws on this as well. Boom and boom, back over here. Uh, we need to pull our ribbons out. Do not lose track of which side these go to. Um, you can put a mark on them or do whatever you got to do, but keep make sure you know which side goes to which. Okay, now that we have our print head out, I'll show you guys a little trick to uh, revive these. Um, I'll be able to revive this one. It'll probably just take me some time, and I have a spare print head anyway, so I'm just going to change it out. But uh, what you can do is get you a syringe with a little hose. Um, this, I forget the size on it on this particular hose, but you can get them at the hardware store. Uh, just get you a little medicine syringe. Um, and I make a f mixture of 25% Windex, 75% uh, um, distilled water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna plug it into the top of our nozzle, just like that, and we're gonna waterfall it. Basically what I mean by waterfall it is just push it through and see what the fluid looks like coming out of it. I don't know if you can see it. This nozzle is not terrible. That's a white one. Uh, my magenta actually went out. I lost about 50% of it. And about most of my uh, three and fours. Just lack of use. I didn't wet cap it before I parked it for that long, but I'll show you what a bad one looks like. See, I'm only getting the middle, middle channel on that. But I'll soak this um, and just put some fluid in each uh, nozzle port, some, some of that fluid mixture I was talking about. And... Uh, just leave the head of this soaking in this uh, little Tupperware dish all probably right up just above the metal part on your print head and just have fluid in each of the in your ports get all your ink out we're just we're just going to soak it that way um, but for now we'll change it out and hopefully have this one as a spare spare print head okay when you get your new print head you're going to want to take note of the serial number for programming purposes. Um, on the side of this printhead, you'll take a picture of that serial number and we're going to put it in the program and I'll show you how to do that directly. But first, basically, we're just going to reverse what we just did, uh, taking the other printhead out. Um, just install the new one, pretty simple. Uh, reinstall your screws and we'll move forward from there. Okay, once you've uh, put in your ID after your printer's fired up, um, you won't have to check it. What it'll, it'll just tell you 
um, ID OK once you've entered in the correct amount of digits. On this top series, it's a little bit confusing because this zero and G have like three spaces in between the rest of these. Just make sure and type it in until it automatically goes down to the next box. Um, if you've put it in correctly, it should take you down to the next box and the next box. And then the last one, once you've entered in the full digits on that, this message right here is gonna pop up and say ID okay. Um, you will, when your printer is fired up um, and you've typed this in, make sure your printer is fired up before you type it in, otherwise you're gonna have to redo the whole thing. It won't let you input it um, with the printer off. So once you've fired up the printer, you've set this, a message is gonna pop up and tell you uh, input okay. Once you click okay, it's gonna shut your printer off, um, which I just did. Um, so we're going to fire it back up. Disregard the, the pretty fingernail polish that's stained from doing leather work. And we'll fire it up and I will show you what we do next. Okay, so after I fired up the printer, um, went through a heavy cleaning cycle on all nozzles, we're going to come in and do a nozzle check. And if we did everything right, we should have a perfect, perfect nozzle check. Voila. Pretty.